Hamburg Psychotherapy Program at Harvard University. Uh, but the idea here is that the therapist actually mirrors what the client uh, is feeling inside, mirrors the client intentionally, and then works with that uh, subjective experience within their own experience and uses mindfulness to actually change that or work with it in ways that they're familiar with through working uh, through their own mind training, and then actually offers that back to the client. So moment to moment, there's this kind of transactional process occurring within therapy. And um, so it's a bit like objective countertransference, except you're intentionally mirroring the client um, through your capacities and um, receiving information about them and then working with that within your own experience and offering that back to the client. And so she says that we can actually offer them the direct experience of mindfulness and Maitri, loving kindness, through how we work with exchange. So this could be thought perhaps as a form of mindful co-regulation. Is that offering overt? Is it explicit or is that implicit anymore? It, it can be overt, but she's talking about it more at an implicit level. So it's actually happening perhaps in both. It's just like an open heart offering that, exactly. that those mind states can somewhat resolve. Right, correct. So um, again, from MECT, Siegel and colleagues, uh, they write about the role of embodying the being mode um, to invite your client into the being mode. Latter quote here, it's not just an issue of credibility and competence, but of teachers' ability to embody from the inside the attitudes they invite participants to cultivate and adopt. So here's mention of this. They don't go on to say too much more about this, which I think is interesting, and yet they do point to uh, the importance of the therapist having their own meditation practice. So I'm moving, this is my second to last slide. I'm just done. Um, Vicarious traumatization, so I'm just making a case here. Vicarious traumatization, also known as compassion fatigue, is a well-known and studied phenomena, um, and it's an acknowledgement, really, of the impact that one person's presence can have on another um, via these mechanisms, probably all of them, um, but the sharing of an experience, the sharing of trauma. And as one uh, person, one researcher puts it, you could risk some damage to your mental health by being a psychotherapist. Uh, and so we all know this is true. And, uh, and so my notion here and, and my uh, plea is that we study its opposite. We actually study uh, the influence that a therapist's own sanity and health can have on the client. Um, so perhaps there's a kind of mindful, vicarious mindfulness that can occur within therapy. And it might, may occur through these roots, it may occur through other roots that I don't know about. Um, but. And uh, last slide for the benefit of others. So I just want to mention here that uh, we have an incredible opportunity as clinicians to actually train our own mind and see the direct benefit that it has on our clients. So we, we can actually sit down on the cushion each day and know that we're practicing not for ourselves primarily, but for our clients, for our future clients, for our present clients. And we're working with our own minds so that we can be a benefit to others. And the idea here is that who we are and how we are within a session is just as important as what we do or say. And I hope that's become somewhat clear uh, from my presentation today. And lastly, uh, I just wanted to point to William James in 1890, uh, one of the founders of modern psychology, said that an education that uh, involved bringing a wandering attention back again and again would be the education par excellence. So even in 1890, there's this recognition that training the mind is incredibly important um, he was, he was, it was in the context of saying how important and central attention is to everything that he does. And um, so on that note, I just want to say that, you know, at Nairobi University, there's a big culture for practicing meditation and training the mind um, in, in training clinicians. But uh, I feel really encouraged and inspired by the fact of coming here and having you all in the same room um, interested in the same topic, an environment that uh, may not have a culture to support it. So. Um, Thank you all for having me. So uh, Jordan's going to be following us over to the student union, and uh, I invite everybody.